We're so worried about you right now, not knowing where you are, if you're okay. It's not a very nice thing to do to folks who love you. I don't want to take out a divorce. I don't want them to split up either. But this is something that your parents are going to have to work out on their own right now, all right? And if the worst happens, it's going to hurt an awful lot. You know that. But you got to remember that it's not going to be the end of the world. And you're going to have me to help take care of you, just like you're going to have to help take care of Joey, and Joey's going to have to take care of Jessica, and poor little Jessica's going to have to take care of the three of us, big glutes, okay? Okay. Come here. Don't we know each other from somewhere? You don't remember? You don't remember my arms around you? If you were paid for the number of times you saved me from breaking my neck, you'd be a multi-millionaire. <laughs> you know, you were better than most of my students. And uh, you turned out to be a pretty good skier. Pretty good? Well, Kate, not exactly world class. Oh, okay, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. So you still think it's true? You still think it's true that all, uh... Ski instructors look alike. Yeah, well... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you really know how to hurt a guy. <laughs> Listen, uh, how's that, uh, that, uh, snow bunny? What's her name? Uh... I'm sorry, <clears throat> uh, Cord. This is... Rick. Rick. Rick and I Cord had a Roberts. lot of, sorry, fun up in Aspen a couple of <clears throat> inches ago. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Doing what? He taught me how to ski. Congratulations. So you and your family have been back up to Aspen? No, no, we, uh, that was the, uh, Sanders family's last hurrah in Aspen. Actually, anywhere for a while. But, uh, we had a great time. Are you folks okay? Oh, could be better, could be worse. Problems? Yeah. Not a divorce, I hope. No, Jamie. Look, it's okay, I know you two never hit it off, and he's a tough mm -hmm. guy to warm up to. Getting tougher all the time. What is his problem? You got a couple hours? Uh, uh, sorry, Kate, but we don't oh, have I'm a couple hours. Sorry, Vicky and Clint must, must be anxious to see Kevin. Well, in fact, I never got through to them because this phone doesn't work, so we better get moving. Okay, let's call them from the lodge. Good idea. Come on, Kate, let's go. You can tell me all about Jamie in the car. You might be sorry you asked. It's a real shocker. Thank you. Vicky, if this is your character witness, you must be pretty hard up. Clint, she's my sister. Perhaps she knows me a little bit better than you... than you think she knows me. Look, Vicki is the best mom I have ever known in my entire life. And as far as I am concerned, anybody who tries to take her children away from her, well, they're just plain dirt. Mm -hmm. Tina, I don't give two hoots in hell what your opinion of me or anything else is. Now, why don't you take your stupid little list and get out of the house? My stupid little list is... it's not stupid. Our son is missing. Do you understand that? Now, Clint is right. I, I don't think this is the time to discuss it, honey, if you don't mind. Hello? Clint, it's Cord. Cord? Where the hell are you? Have you been? We're still up at the Lantano Mountains. In the mountains? You and Kate were supposed to be back here last night. Where are you now? We're at the ski lodge, all right? And, and listen, we have Kevin. We found him. He has Kevin. Is what? he all right? right? Yes, Clint, he's fine. He's all right, all right? He's fine. He's fine. Oh, thank God. And he says he wants to talk to his mom and dad, so just go on, all right? <laughs> you go with your dad. Dad? Kevin, Kevin, how are you, son? Good. Rick sees me out of the cave. Cave? What cave? Who's Rick? Please let me talk to him, please. Uh, uh, Kevin, hang on. You can tell us all about it when you get back here. Right now, your mother wants to talk to you. Kevin! Mom? Oh, my boy. Oh, I'm so glad to hear your voice. I'm so happy you're all right. I'm sorry I scared you. Oh, well, we're very happy now, darling. Is it all right if I come home? Oh, of course you can. Of course you can. Somebody here looking for a little cow? Oh, Kevin! Oh, oh God, Kevin. Oh. Well, how about a hug for Daddy? Come on. Oh. <laughs> Let Give me, me one. Oh, boy, did we miss you. Oh, come here, come here. Let me get a look at you. Oh, I swear you're two inches taller and put out about three pounds. I haven't even gone that long. Well, like a lifetime for your mom and me. You know, we, we were worried we'd never see you again. I didn't mean to scare you and make you cry. Please. I know you didn't, darling. Welcome home. You know, you're awful lucky somebody found you in that cave. You know that, don't you? I 
could have froze. That's right, you could have. Well, you're safe now. Oh, God, we're so happy you were found. Can get back together again? Uh, <clears throat> look, Saddle Pal, let's you and me have a little man to man talk, you huh? Sure. Look, Kev. I know how you feel about this little. Uh, this problem your mom and I have. Well, we're kind of sad about it, too. But you know, this was a pretty. Well, it wasn't a very smart stunt you pulled. You caused everybody a lot of pain and grief. You know that, don't you? Including you. I was so mad. I know, I know, I know. But, Kevin, you should have come to us. You should have come to us and talked to us instead of running away. We've always been able to talk, haven't we? Yeah. Well, that's not ever going to change. That's not going to change no matter... no matter what happens. Your mom and I are doing the, the best we can with this problem. We are. We're, we're doing the best we can, but we can't promise. We can't promise how it's going to come out, son. But I can promise you this. Your mom and I, we both love you. And that's not ever going to change either. That's not ever going to change, Kev. And I'll tell you something else. Your mom and I love you and your brother and your sister. And we always, always, always going to be there for you, Kev. And we want you to remember that. Now give me a hug and give your mommy a hug, huh? I love you. Will you hug your mama? Oh, my God. Hey, Sam! Come on, Rick. The, uh, the bar's open now. Let's go. Court! That is too beautiful a woman to ignore. Yeah, well, that may be, but she's also my wife. No, we're separated right now and barely speaking, okay? Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I... Uh, don't worry about it. It's all right. That woman with her is my mother. I think she'll understand if we don't go over there and say howdy right about now. I got it. Maybe you ought to leave, Landview. You ought to, to hang on to the little self-respect that you have left and leave Cord with, with whatever good feelings he has about you. What, just sneak out of town like you did? And then he'd never know where I or the baby ever were. No, I mean, he can't go on just ignoring this baby forever. And I'm going to take care of this right now. Tina, get a hold of yourself. It's your pregnancy in public. Come on, let's sit down. Come on. So, Rick, uh, when do you go back to work at the lodge? Funny you should mention that. I got fired. You're the hero of the hour. Are you kidding me? Why would they fire you? Because saving Kevin meant me missing some, some ski lessons for some rich folks who complained about it. Oh, I don't believe that. Yeah, I know. Well, anyways, I'll need a job within a week or two. I don't exactly have a full bank account. You know what you ought to do? You ought to go over to the banner and talk to Clint. He might be able to help. Or better yet, you should talk to Asa at Buchanan Enterprises. That man loves to pull strings for people. I'm sure he'd help you out. <sighs> Sounds kind of dull, Cord. And it was going to be the same as Mr. Buchanan paying me back for, for saving Kevin's life. It will, maybe, but, uh, hey, you do need a job, right? And that's one thing about the Buchanans. When they back you up, they back you up 100%. Well, thanks, but uh, I need something a little more, a little more excitement, you know. And I gotta continue skiing, but I need money to do that. Well, why don't you try some of the lodges in the area, maybe something like that? I could probably do that, but 
I'm in this area for a, for a special reason. Oh? And uh, I wouldn't even mind staying in Landview yourself for a while. So tell me, what is the hottest hangout in town? Well, that's got to be Elmo's. But there's not much happening in there this time of day. Are they open? Sure, they're open, yeah. Well, come on, let's check it out. Uh, I think I'll take a rain check. I'm really not in the mood right now, if you know what I mean. All right, no problem. We'll just, uh, just tell me where it is and I'll just grab a cab or something. Yo, yo, wait, wait, put your money away. I got this one. Oh, thank Corey, you. Please, we have to talk. Uh, Tina, I'm kind of busy talking to someone else right now. I, I know, I can see that, but when you're uh, here... Hey, hey, I was about to leave anyways. Cord, I'll talk to you later, all right? Great, take it easy, huh? So, 